Welcome to your study circle. Current affairs for UPSC, SSC and Public Service Examination, 8th April 2020. Our first discuss about 8th April, importance of 8th April. First one is 8th April 1857. Mangal Pandey, the first revolutionary of Indian mutiny and freedom fighter was hanged till the death till death at Barakpur. He struck the first bullet during the time of mutiny against the British Empire. Second one, 8th April 1894. Begin Chandra Chatterjee, famous novelist and writer of national song Vande Madhuram, died at the age of 55. Some of his writings are Anadamad and Kapal Kundala. Next, 8th April 1950, Nehru and Ali Khan signed the Indo-Pakistan Pact. Next, 8th April 1998, Indian Indies into a historical partnership with France with the formal launch of joint program for restoring and protecting the Taj Mahal. This is a two person, Mangal Pandey and Benjamin Chandra Chatterjee. Next, FATF to review Pakistan performed to fight money laundering. Global Anti-Money Laundering Watchdog Financial Action Tax Force FATF has announced that it will be a review Pakistan performed to meet international committee in the fight against terror financing. Highlight, FATF will review Pakistan performed to meet international commitment and standard in the fight against money laundering and terror financing at a meeting that has been scheduled to be held in Beijing on 21 to 26 June 2020. In February 2020, the watchdog FATF gave Pakistan a four month of grace period of complete its 27 point action plan against money laundering and terror financing that is committed with the international community. Before the extension, Pakistan had delivered 14 point and missed 13 other targets. Pakistan government has taken several measures to be removed from the list of countries deemed non-compliant with anti-money laundering and terrorist financing regulation. It is said that the country has taken a measure that can affect Pakistan economy which is already under the severe strain. What is FATF? FATF. Paris based FATF is an intergovernmental body formed in 1989. The organization aimed to con combat money laundering, terrorist financing and other related threat to integrity of the international financial system. There are around 39 members countries including the US, UK, India, Japan, China and France among others. Next, MHRD launched Samadhan, a challenge to find quick solution to COVID-19 pandemic. The innovation cell of Ministry of Human Resource Development MHRD, in collaboration with All India Council for Technical Education and Ford and Inno Innovate Chris launch Samadhan, a mega online challenge to test the ability of students to innovate. What is Samadhan? Student can participate in a Samadhan challenge. The participating candidate to expect are expected to search and develop a new measures that can provide quick solution to the coronavirus epidemic and other such calamities. The solution can be made available to government agencies, health service, hospital and other services. Some of that will be done to the citizen aware to motive them to face any challenge to prevent any crisis and help people get a livelihood. Under the Samadhan challenge, the faculty and students can conduct new experiment and make a new discoveries in the experiment should be provided with a strong base leading to spirit of experimentation and discovery. Application to participate in the completion will start on 7th April 2020. He, the last date 
of submission of application is 14th April 2020. The names of contest after shortlisting will be declared on 17th April 2020. The contestant are expected to submit their entries between 8, 18 to 23 April 2020. The final this Samadhan will be released on 24th April and the grand online jury will decide the winners of the challenge on 25th April 2020. Next, India release ban on export of paracetamol hydrochloroquine drugs. The government of India has released a ban on export of paracetamol and hydrochloroquine that are ensure used to threat COVID-19. The drug are currently placed in the in licensed category. The move came as the UP pres US President Donald Trump has threatened India with the retaliation if India rejected the US demand for the supply of hydrochloroquine. Ban relaxation. Doctors and scientists are divided over the efficiency of hydrochloroquine drug which is used to treat malaria and autoimmune disease, diseases. It has been found that the drug hydrochloroquine is a key to battle the infection. The panel led by drug pricing regulation Sudra Singh uh, was taken with assessing the capability and manufacturing capacity of domestic pharmaceutical companies. The decision was taken after verifying stock availability in the country. India is one of the biggest manufacturers of the drug across the world. The US along with 13 countries including South Asian neighbors and key global partners in West Asia has asked India to lift the ban on the export of hydrochloroquine drugs. Next, DST to found IIT Bombay to develop a gel for nasal passage to prevent coronavirus. Science and Engineering Research Board CRF, REB, of the Department of Science and Technology DST is support to fund a technology by the Department of Bioscience and Bioengineering DBB. IAT Bombay to capture the inactive nasal, sorry, novel coronavirus. Highlight, the funding by SCRF will be help DB, DBB of IAT Bombay to develop a gel that can be applied to nasal passage with the major entry point of the coronavirus. The solution is expected to protect the safety of the health workers and lead the reduction in community transmission of COVID-19. It will help to manage the spread of coronavirus. The health, the health provide including doctors and nurses are attained minimum, sorry, maximum risk of they will work closely with the um, contagious COVID-19. Firstly, the virus replicates with the host cell of the lungs. The first component to strategy will be inhibit the binding of the various sorry, virus or to hold cell. This is expected to reduce infection in the host cell and the virus that will be still remain inactive should be inactivated. Secondly, a method to where biological molecules that are incorporated would inactivate the trapped virus in a manner similar to that detergent. The successful completion of the project will be led to the development of gels that can be locally applied in the nasal cavity. Next, a CTA university develop designated bacteria barrier examination booth to examine COVID-19 patient. Scientists of Sri Sitra Thirunar Institute of Medical Science and Technology have designed and developed a designated barrier examination booth to COVID-19 COVID patient. It is a thoughtfully designed protective booth with clinical input. Disinfected examination booth. The inactive disinfected examination booth is closely like a telephone booth. It has been designed to examine the patient without direct contact with the doctor to prevent transmission of infection. The booth is equipped with a lamp, 
table fan, rag and ultraviolet light. light. A pair of gloves is provided the examination booth to examine the patient physical status and entry tunnel on the side frame of the booth is provided to pass a stethoscope within the chamber. This feature would be help the doctor to place the stethoscope on the patient and listen to heartbeat and birth sound. SCTIMST SCTMST was established in 1976 by Indian government. The Autonomous Institute functions under the Department of Science and Technology, Ministry of Science and Technology. It is located in Tiruvanduram, Kerala, India. It is one of the premier research institute and center in India. SDF for, for COVID-19 project. The South Asian Association for Regional Corporation, SARC, Development Fund, SDF, has allocated $5 million for COVID-19 related project it, in its member state set a press release from the organization on 7th April 2020. The objective of the US $5 million allocation is to be provide fund support to member state in their effort and protect the people SARC members state by mitigating the financial losses and severe socio-economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. To be eligible for the funding, the project would be would have to be you know, involved at least three member nations. The SDV said the Bhutan-based body was mandated to build regional integ integration and economic cooperation through project funding among its member states. Eight, eight member states including Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. The approval process pro project implementation of fund disturbance Discernment, management, monitoring, and reporting shall be as per the existing SDF board approach, approved policy, and practice of SDF and a social window. The SDF is currently implementing 90 projects in all SARC member states under the three found funding windows economic and infrastructure and social, with a total fund commitment of. 198.24 million dollar. Flashback. SARC Development Fund was established by the head of the eight SARC member state in April 2009, which is the aim to prom promote the welfare of the people of SARC region, improve their quality of life, and accelerate economic growth, social progress, and poverty elevation in the region. STF has three funding window. One social, second economic, third infrastructure. First one is social window focus funding project on poverty elevation, improving health and education. Economic window funding non infrastructure project related to trade, industry development and agriculture. Third infrastructure window funding energy, power and transportation. Next, I on study circle, exam practice. UPC and KS daily test films means feather. First question for 8th for April 2020, a term cytokine strong sometimes seen in the news is associated with the with which of the following A. A wide variety of infectious and non-infectious diseases. B. A kind of extra tropical cyclone. C. Solar strong. D. A kind of biological attack. Second question. Consider the following statement regarding the National Innovation Foundation. First statement. It is an autonomous body under the development Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Second statement. The Inspire Award Manic Beast revamped and executed by the Department of Science and Technology and National Innovation Foundation India. Which of the statement given above is our card? A. 1 only, B. 2 only, C. Both 1 and 2, D. Neither 1 or 2. Question number 3. Which reference to the Global Lunar Exploration Program comes of the following statement? NASA is a committed landing American astronaut of the moon by the 2024 under its ARPIS program. Second, India has sent three missions on moon till now. Which of the statement given above is correct? A. 1 only, B. 2 only, C. Both 1 and 2, D. Neither 1 or 2. Question number 4. 
Karuna initiative seen recently in the news fight COVID-19 has been taken by A. Ministry of Home Affairs B. Civil, Service, Civil Servant of India C. Nidhi Aayog D. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Question number 5 Minimum Alternative Tax MAT was introduced in the India by the Finance Act of 1987 for which of the following purposes A. To increase FDI B. To support MSME C. To reduce the corporate tax. D. To facilitate the taxation of zero tax companies. Answers for the question. Question number 1. Answer A. Question number 2. Answer C. Question number 3. Answer A. Question number 4. Answer B. Question number 5. Answer D. Test over means 8th April 2020. Question. In the wake of spread of COVID-19, the time has came from India to reclaim the status of Vishaguru. Come on. 10 mark question. Thank you. Think before you speak, read before you think. Prepared by Jay Cotanes, Aeon Study Circle. If you join our study group, all social media, Facebook, Aeon Study Circle, WhatsApp 9846 Group, 024053, Telegram, Aeon Study Circle.